How are we doing today, guys? So today we're gonna be back with another video, and today we're gonna be going over the uh, cooling system of a uh, engine. So we're gonna talk about a few of the components and uh, what they do and how they work. So let's get started on it. So if you look right here, on the very top of the radiator, we have what's called our expansion tank, or more commonly referred to as a reservoir. This is where most of our, you'll see most of your coolant stored at. This is where you're gonna fill the coolant, and you have your pressurized cap right there to keep all the pressure inside the system going and seal. So right here in front of this big fan, which I'll get to next, see the get in a little closer. This guy right here is called our radiator. Don't be confused with the one in front of it. That is our intercooler, and that is what cools our air for our turbocharger. But the radiator is just a heat transferring device. So essentially. You have our outlet right here and on the other side towards the bottom there's an inlet and the coolant will flow through it while air passes through and it will cool the air and then come out the outlet and run, run its way back to the system. So on top of that to help get that air to come flowing through which right here called the fins we have a fan clutch and a fan, fan shroud. The fan shroud is actually you can see as it, it, as it tapers into a smaller diameter helps produce more airflow using the Venturi effect. And then we have here our fan clutch, which is an air-driven clutch. So the fan clutch actually spins and spins and spins when actuated by air, and it draws the air through the radiator. So how it actuates, it's not running all the time, as you can see that hose coming down straight from the bottom, is air actually pulls the clutch back into and actuates it, which is ran by this wire hooked up to that cylinder right there, which actuates it. And then there's a connector going to the engine control module so that whenever the vehicle gets up to a certain temperature, it can allow the fan clutch to kick on and get the en engine back to operating temperatures and prevent us from overheating. So now we're here on the passenger side of the truck. And excuse the noise, I got a freight liner running behind me. I don't know how well you can hear me. But you might be wondering the radiator, when I was referring, talking about it, how it actually, how the coolant actually runs throughout it. Well, by this guy right here. This right here is our water pump. And on this truck, it's located right underneath the alternator and it is pulley driven. Now these can be pulley driven or gear driven, but what it does is while the engine is rotating, it is in there, there's a pump inside this housing right here, that it just pumps the coolant throughout the engine, throughout all the various components, all, throughout all the cooling locations. And then we also have here our transmission cooler. And then we have the filter right here. This filter is for the uh, coolant, it's a coolant particulate filter. So we can get all the NASA stuff out of there. You can see off the back, we have our line right here going into the, cool, the transmission cooler. And we also have our line that will go up to the uh, expansion tank. And other than that, that's pretty much it. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video on the uh, different components and how they work on this cooling system for this truck. Um, if you have any questions, just ask. Thank you, all have a good day.